Welcome to Battles and Beyond in today's day in World War II. On August 28, 1941, the strategic port city of Tallinn, located in Estonia, witnessed a significant shift in control. German forces, with the assistance of Estonian volunteers, successfully wrested Tallinn from Soviet rule. This event is particularly notable for the heavy casualties inflicted upon the retreating Soviet troops. As they evacuated from the city, more than 12,000 Soviet soldiers lost their lives. The chaos was exacerbated by the numerous mines that had been laid in the Gulf of Finland by both German and Finnish forces. These minefields resulted in the sinking of several Soviet ships, adding to the grim tally. Following this event, the remaining Soviet forces in Estonia found themselves pushed back, and they retreated to the West Estonian archipelago, marking a significant territorial gain for the German side in the Baltic region. On August 28, 1942, amidst the vast and varied theaters of World War II, an unexpected event took place on American soil. A Japanese seaplane, venturing far from its usual operational theaters, dropped incendiary bombs over the state of Oregon. These bombs ignited a forest fire, marking one of the few direct attacks on the continental United States during the war. Although the fire did not result in significant long-term damage or a high number of casualties, the event was symbolic. It represented the global reach of the conflict and underscored the vulnerabilities that even distant and powerful nations faced during this tumultuous period. It was a reminder of the unpredictable nature of war and the lengths to which nations would go to strike at their adversaries. August 28, 1944, stands as a pivotal date in the liberation of France during World War II. On this day, German forces officially surrendered in the key southern French cities of Toulon and Marseille. These cities, vital ports on the Mediterranean coast, had been under German occupation, but the tide of war was turning. The liberation of these cities was not just a strategic victory, ensuring control of important supply routes, but also a significant morale boost for the Allied forces and the French resistance. The retaking of Toulon and Marseille symbolized the broader effort to free France from occupation and was a testament to the combined efforts of international forces and local resistance groups. This event set the stage for further advances into France and the eventual liberation of Paris. The rapid and relentless advance of General George S. Patton's Third Army is well documented in the annals of World War II history. On August 28, 1944, in a significant strategic move, Patton's tanks crossed the Marne River. This river, historically associated with pivotal battles of World War I, once again became a focal point in the second great conflict of the 20th century. By crossing the Marne, the Third Army solidified its position and continued its push into German-held territory. Patton, known for his aggressive tactics and bold maneuvers, showcased the might and mobility of armored warfare. The crossing of the Marne was not just a geographical gain, but also a psychological blow to German forces, signaling the relentless nature of the Allied advance and the changing tide of the war. Thanks for watching Battles and Beyond. Also, be sure to check the link in the description for additional information. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay connected with our daily historical explorations.